Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Assembly Member Sharon Quirk Silva, representing the 65th District in North Orange County. Today is March 31st, and it certainly has been a, a month that none of us would have ever predicted, expected, and after almost three weeks of not only learning more about the COVID-19 or coronavirus, uh, we all have learned much more about it. So I wanted to give you updates straight from the governor's office. As of today, uh, we continue to see cases uh, of the virus spreading in California. The governor is hard at work uh, looking and finding uh, beds for what we believe a surge will be uh, within 10 to 15 days. In addition, uh, there are many beds that are already uh, have been identified and more to come. There have been many, many people who have applied for unemployment and if you have not applied, you should do that. It is about 21 days from the time you file to the time you will receive a check. If you have been furloughed, you also qualify for unemployment. So be sure to contact the unemployment office. Today is a holiday with Cesar Chavez Day, so they are not open, but call tomorrow and have your information ready. Uh, with our schools, we know that their executive order uh, continues to be to focus on distance learning, getting student lunches out, uh, and school will be uh, closed for at least the next 30 days, if not longer. We know families are struggling with childcare and there is work being done on trying to keep some of the child care centers open. Uh, so that is something that has not been resolved but is gonna be uh, worked on. Uh, one of the main issues that we hear about, of course, is why is the virus still spreading? We have had many people who are staying at home, staying safe, washing their hands, uh, and doing what is being asked. But we also have people who are ignoring that, whether it's on uh, walking trails, whether it's on hiking trails, and uh, as you know, that is a way to spread viruses. We also want to let you know that we sincerely consider our essential employees, doctors, healthcare, fire, police, uh, grocery store workers, food workers, mail carriers, all essential employees and we thank them deeply for their service to our community. Uh, there have been additional hiring now for unemployment. So going back to that, uh, that uh, there should be more people available. I will uh, just end with a very, very important message on evictions that there is now a statewide moratorium, but you have to contact your uh, rent, your property owner, and you must have an agreement with them in order to get that protection. You cannot just assume uh, that you have a grace period. So please contact your employer, contact all, our office if you need language or a letter, a sample letter uh, to give to your employer. We have that in Spanish and we can translate also in Korean and other languages. Very important, just the same way as your mortgage payments. You have to contact your lender. Uh, there will be more tests coming aboard. That's been slower than we like, but uh, those will start coming out. And with that, we just wanna end with saying, as the governor said today, he is, I am, our team is inspired by uh, Californians coming together to help one another to lean on each other and to stand together. Thank you so much.